Good morning guys, Jack here, seed47.com. You join me at the hotel where we're just grabbing some breakfast and a coffee before we head over to MWC for day two of the Mobile World Congress. Yesterday was really, really good. We saw lots of exciting new things and I've been dead impressed actually with what we've come across. And we've got some good things from today as well. There's so much more to see. And of course, like always, you're coming along with us. We're not gonna waste any more time. See you there. Here we are guys, day two, Mobile World Congress 2022. Here, raring to go. Let's get right on into it. I'll see you there. I've just tried to get inside the LG exhibition, but what they've told me is it's only VIP meetings only at the moment. So I'm afraid guys, I can't go in and show you what it is they're trying to offer. Maybe next year though, we'll work on that. I'm sure we'll get it. So you join me guys on Oppo's stand and there's an awful lot to see here. One of the main pieces of the show not today, after speaking to the gentleman over there, is their new Find N. This is Oppo's second attempt at a foldable device and after looking at Samsung's the other day, this is so much better. We have a nice clear screen here. And when it opens, one of the big wins over the Samsung is there is no crease. It's seamless. After that being my main gripe with the Samsung phone yesterday, it's good to see one that doesn't have that crease. And in Oppo's low light room, where they're showing off the Find X5 series and its capabilities when it comes to night mode, of which you can have, offer various different options to increase the low light levels of your photos and make them really, really vibrant. There's multiple sliders you can choose from to adjust the ability to see how light or dark you want that photo, which sounds basic, but it, AI technology is very, very, very clever. For those of you who don't know, we really do like OnePlus here at C247 and we spent a lot of time unboxing their phones and spreading loads of content around about on our social media. One thing definitely worth mentioning is that Oppo also a part of the same brand as that OnePlus. For the OnePlus fans among us, you'll be really impressed to know that on OnePlus' stand this year, of course, they're showcasing the brand new OnePlus 10 Pro. You won't have to wait too long before we get our hands on one of these and we'll be able to showcase to you guys all of its amazing features. But one thing I will show you now is this model comes with a fisheye lens. Not really sure when you'd use it, but it's a good gimmick nonetheless. I must say, spending some time with that OnePlus 10 Pro does get me excited because we're filming all the content this week on a OnePlus 9 Pro. And I'm looking forward to getting my hands on the 10 Pro to see what difference there is between each model. On the outside, it looks fantastic and I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on it. As I touched on yesterday, Orange are here showcasing their 5G technology by using controlling a remote control car that's in Paris using a Samsung Fold 3. Let's go check it out. have the Xiaomi CyberDog behind us that in itself is very very cool. I do wonder though it can walk forward and backwards and it is very very clever but when can it do a backflip or is it going to somersault? Or if I chuck it a bone is it going to chase it? I don't think so. Obviously we've been impressed by Xiaomi's robot dog and even better than that we're here at the Xiaomi with a Poco M4 Pro. Though the phone itself is meant to be very, very good, the thing I'm most impressed about is it's in our seat 47 yellow. How cool is that? Oh, it's from the last week. Okay. All right. See that some noise is already detected because it's quite noisy, but I put some more. 
You, you are seeing more noise and we boost the bass more. Yeah. And it may, I don't know whether you realize it, that something has been put, but I, I switch it off. Yeah. This, yeah. this would be your playback without yeah. anything. Now we enable it again. Yeah. So now you should be able to hear yeah. the bass. That's very clever. Fine again. Very clever. Like I said, it works fine when you don't even... Mm. And I would be listening to that. I would actually hear behind me these people talking. Okay. Because the spatial audio... Well, it's 360. Is what we record is basically about recording all around the place and, 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 and giving you kind of a natural feeling that you are in the place. Yeah. Space. So all the sounds are coming like outside your head, not... In like, yeah, typically when you put the headphones on, yes. you hear something inside yeah. your head. But spatial audio is coming from outside okay. your head. And, and this is the experience that also audio is able to create. Yeah. And if you look this UI here, you actually we are visualizing what this device here is. So yeah, you are basically seeing that why is this sound is coming from my direction, and if I enable that noise, a lot of noise coming from that direction. Yeah. And and, uh, and this also detects the surrounding That's noise that we yeah. have here and there. And when we are able to understand where the sounds are coming from around the device we are also then able to, to do some tricks for example it's possible to zoom with audio yeah we are able to silence certain types okay so typically you could consider that okay i'm visually zooming now yeah like a lot with the lenses yeah with audio at the same time you could zoom like this yeah but because we know all the directions where the mm -hmm. sound is coming from. With audio you can actually zoom to left or right or behind okay. or, or basically any direction and, yeah. and dynamically decide what, what amount you zoom. That's clever. And when we are here in the middle then we are coming to the yeah. surround, surround okay. So that's something. That's um, very clever. Especially this police world, world cameras, they are very interested in, in capturing not only like close what the policeman yeah. is saying but also the person over there. Meters, what yes. the other guy is saying yeah, okay. because they want to use that as an evidence in a, in a court. So they want to have basically always on this room. Yeah. And other thing that we provide is also the wind noise reduction. Yeah. So typically our customers have it always on, but yeah. in this demo application we have a kind of switch on or switch oh, okay. wind noise reduction. That's good. And we can continuously hear from customers that they've never heard anything better in yeah. done in software. Because we are able to not only kind of reduce radically the, the wind distortion that comes to, to, to record a signal, but also uh, preserve the spatial audio. Yeah. You join me guys whilst I'm back at Cat Stand. The Motorola are also here as Cat and Motorola have done a partnership on a model called the Motorola Defy, which is an everyday phone, but it has the rugged credentials just like the Cat lineup. It's called the Motorola Defy. As you can see, it's labeled as an everyday smartphone, but it does have those rugged credentials. It's a very heavy device and it looks a lot like a Cat S62 Pro or an S42. It's everyday proof because it has the Cat standards and it has a two day battery life. It's not available in the UK however I'm afraid but it is definitely worth a look at. So guys, day two is so far going very, very well. We've seen some exciting new things. A lot of that being from some smaller companies that I myself have never heard of before. But in essence, they've still come out with some really amazing tech. 
The interactive ball that you can see on our Instagram Reels was incredible. They've demonstrated when they've done some work with Samsung in Germany that they, even when the phone is off, they could put down the new Samsung phone and a nice big screen PDF will appear because it somehow knows that it's that phone with all the specs and information. You take the S22 off, you put down a Samsung A52 instead, all the specs appear for that phone as well. Some really, really next level stuff. And that's a wrap, guys. Day two, C247 at Mobile World Congress 2022. It's been another incredible day. Loads of new, amazing technologies that have been showcased, and we've all been really impressed with what we've seen. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe. Thank you for watching, and tune in tomorrow for day three of Mobile World Congress. See you then.